Hey there all and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple pendulum motion only using HTML and CSS. So let's get right into it with our HTML file where I have already specified a main div with the class name of container. I mean container. Okay. And a child divs, two child divs with the class name of thread and bob for our pendulum parts all right that's it for the HTML side of things and now for the CSS let me just give it a body body of background ground uh, we'll see get back all right and now Let's start coding our container. Oh, before that, I need to first code the thread and bar. Oh, let me just increase the size of it. There we go. Um. Okay, so thread. Um. Dot thread. Um, let's just say height of um, 100 pixels and width of 5 pixels you know it should be really thin and the background background basically I use background for I use background color that is preferred but here for the sake of being fast I just write background so let's just give it a white color all right and also let me just change it to two pixels okay it's looking okay now it's looking a bit more long long and like a thread okay and um, height of 100 vh so it should take the whole height and display flex I need to center everything so for that I'm using display flex align items center and just defy Content center and also over overflow hidden for hiding this scroll bar here. All right, now let's go on to our Bob B O B. Seems like a name. All right, hide. Hundred pixels and width also hundred pixels and a background color of white itself and a border radius of uh, let's fifty percent, which is the maximum circle. All right, now let me just change the height and width a bit. All right, it's a bit more small now. That's what I want. And next thing we need to do is to code our container. So container container is gonna have a position of relative and display flex now everything is gonna be really messy but don't worry justify by content of 
center. Okay, and also, oh, right. Um, I need to do flex direction to be row. Okay, there we go. We needed to do column and also line items center. Okay, justify content, just go. I don't know why I wrote it. So, yeah, now everything's nicely aligned to the center. We can do our uh, Animation so animation it will be called keyframe at keyframes oh yes okay at keyframes we need this pen to well, as its name so zero percent it's gonna be transform rotate 45 degree and let me just copy it copy and paste it for our 100 degree so for that 100 degree I will use negative 45 degree or actually I will use negative 45 here and positive here let me just save it and also we can assign the pendulum to one of the class or div and I'm gonna use container and you should also use container so it's gonna be animation Shan. all right uh, animation pen to plum one second and five Linear. Also linear. Uh, what's the problem? Uh, all right, guys. I know what the problem was, and I fixed it. So let me just show you. Let me increase the uh, speed. All right. Now it's a smooth pendulum motion, and that's it for this video. But the reason why it works is uh, I have given 0 and 100% uh, different values so that basically means it will just you know I will just show you so if I put 100% here and never do the um okay so here there you go it just breaks right here and then starts from all over again so we don't want that that's why I used 50% here and then 100 here so 100 and 0% basically have the same value and in between the 50% is gonna have negative 45 so that's the reason it worked and yeah now we have a nice pendulum motion I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new on the way until the next video goodbye